Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in the courtroom of Judge Simpson as he takes on yet another Sovtard who thinks he knows the law better than anybody else. But as we all know, uh, Judge Simpson really doesn't take anything from sovereign citizens. No Fs given. And it is no different with this uh, lame brain, smooth brain Sovtard. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Court calls case People versus Tariq Day. The Michigan Opera Senior Assistant Prosecuting Attorney for the People. Hello, Tariq Samara, Tariq Day here. A ready judge, Corsho Fleeser, Assistant Public Defender, on behalf of Mr. Day. He's there. Can you turn on your camera, sir? I don't have I don't have any contract with a public defense uh public defender's office. You're so dumb. You are really dumb. For real. Oh, coming right out of the gate with the uh illogical Sovtard arguments. I have no contract with uh, the prosecutor's office, so therefore this is null and void. Uh no it is not. That's not how any of this works, you dumbass. You what? I don't have any contract with the public defender's office representing me. You don't have a contract with them? Correct. Yes, Judge. I reached out to Mr. Day to try to uh, help pre-try this, this case. My is this going to be a Bellinger thing? I think so, Judge. Okay, go yeah. for it. <laughs> My understanding is uh, that he had enough counsel that he was going to have, I believe, on his file. Uh, and I wish him good luck if that's the case, but I don't see another attorney here, so I don't know what's what's going on, Your Honor. No, Mr. I Day, I'm I'm defending myself. I told him I that uh, I would notify the court that I relieved him of any implied obligations to this case. So I got a question for you, Softard. Uh, where did you go get your law degree at uh, that makes you qualified enough to be smarter than any other uh, lawyer on the planet? and uh, be able to defend yourself. Was it the law school of Chile de Castro? Because, well, yeah, haven't you heard? He'll be in jail for the next few months because he also thought he was smarter than everybody else around him. So, yeah, you may want to uh, uh, turn your legal degree back into that university and uh, let a real attorney defend you. So you're, repre you're going to represent yourself? I'm defending myself, correct. Okay, then you need to be here. Now. Well, as I told uh, the court, I uh, requested a Zoom hearing because I have COVID. So there is no you way that I could. In a vehicle with a hat on, no mask. Oh. I inside my vehicle right now. What'd you say? I said yes, because I'm inside my vehicle right now. I work outside, I'm away from the general public. Did you so go to no the hospital starting the COVID diagnosis? Excuse me? Did Have you been to the doctor regarding the COVID diagnosis? It's against my religion. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. Okay, so here's what you're going to do. Then I'm going to say, okay, you've got COVID. I want you here. When's our last block? Three o'clock today. Wear a mask if you're going to represent yourself. Damn! Damn! Uh, I can't make that. Is there a later date? Oh, three, three? yeah, you can. Three o'clock. 3.30, I can make that. Yeah, dude, you might want to rethink this kind of strategy because, well, this is Judge Simpson you're talking to right here, and he he doesn't mess around. So, yeah, uh, you might want to make time at this point because you're just going to hit a brick wall anyway. I'll be here at 3 o'clock. 
Well, I'll be there at 3.30, and if there's any issue, then Okay, we can... and at 3 o'clock, I may issue a mentor. Be here at 3 o'clock. I'll pass this matter. Thank you. There's no bench warrant to be issued because this court didn't okay. have... Okay, I'll determine that at 3 o'clock. The court See didn't you at have... 3 o'clock. Thank you. This court does not have jurisdiction. You're welcome, Mr. Feaster. Cut his line. Why don't we do this? Give me about three minutes. <laughs> I'm going to take a recess, then I'm going to come back because everything's going downhill and it's those two guys' fault. You, not you. You. What's your name? Uh, Tariq Samar Tariq Ade, the executive of the Tariq Samar Tariq Ade Living Trust. Glad to be my Tariq Ade, my Wilson Estate. Sir, you indicated that you wish to represent yourself on this matter? Yes. All right. You understand at your arraignment you were given the charges that were filed, have been filed against you? I was given a charge. So if there were any additional, I was not uh, given those charges. The only charge I got was a, a fleeing and eluding. Fle fleeing and eluding third degree. Third degree, correct. And if anything else was uh, tallied onto that, and I was not told. Okay. I have one charge. Okay. That is a felony punishable by up to five years incarceration and $1,000 fine plus court costs. The Secretary of State would be required upon your conviction to suspend your license for a period of one year. You understand that, sir? I do, but I have some questions. Uh, well, uh, as soon as I get through this, you have indicated that you wish to represent yourself. I have to advise you that there are some dangers in you representing yourself. You understand that, sir? I do comprehend. And you understand that if you proceed to represent yourself, that the court is not going to assist you to understand the procedures or anything regarding the court proceeding, that you will be responsible for that. And I will be holding you to the same standard that I would be holding the attorneys in the room in terms of even ruling, ruling on evidence or anything along those lines in regard to the procedure and the process. You understand that, sir? Correct. I comprehend. All right. You also, so I will ask you again, do you still continue to wish to represent yourself in this matter? Yes, I will be defending myself. You understand also, sir, that should you change your mind and could not afford to hire an attorney and wish to be represented by an attorney to consider Making sure that you are afforded counsel. You understand that? I comprehend. How do you wish to proceed on this matter, sir? Uh, first, I want to, uh, uh, like an oral motion for a dismissal based on the fact of uh, the lack of probable cause and also the, the lack of a personal and uh, subject matter jurisdiction based on the fact that this is uh, a trust matter um, from the name to the, uh, the private co uh, conveyance that was. Um, stolen by the third party, Wall Street Towing, um, and impounded on the, uh, the colorful act, uh, the colorful law actions of uh, Officer Trowbridge of the Washington County Sheriff's Department. Dumbass! You dumbass! You're a dumbass! Such a dumbass! You're an ass! Colorful law? Don't you mean color of law? Because that's what the majority of you softards and for a frauditors tend to put out there is uh under the color of law blah 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 but you do realize that has everything to do with civil rights and not traffic laws right of course you don't you probably are just parroting uh whatever soft hard guru told you to say that because well i know the gurus would know exactly what color of the law is and still tell their uh, uh brainless sheep but it's not. So, yeah, you're one of those brain the sheep, aren't you? Um, also, I have not been able to, uh, um, as of Constitution Amendment 6, uh, being able to face my accuser um, with the state of Michigan being a fictitious entity and there's no uh, injured party, there's no crime that has been committed. Um, and again, to the probable cause of the initial stop and the arrest, um, cannot be proven. There was no probable cause for the arrest or stop. There was no warrant uh, on hand for the, or the arresting officer to conduct an arrest. And um, 
even more so again, uh, as I stated, this is a uh, trust property. So this court doesn't have jurisdiction to adjudicate over uh, the foreign trust. Wow. Jurisdiction, trust, all those uh, soft, hard key words you just spewed out really have no meaning in the court. And there's nobody that I know of that has this mythical billion dollar trust that we're supposedly all born with that uh, foreign investors put money into when uh, the time is right or whatever the hell it is that you believe in. It's different for each soft hard faction. Oh, boy, it gets to be pretty mind-numbing. Mind-numbingly stupid at any rate. Okay. Yeah. Finish. Uh, oh, no, actually, I was also uh, moving to place you and the clerk as fiduciaries over the trust, um, and I'll be able to supply you all with the adequate assurance uh, certificate of security to settle and offset charges. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. God have mercy on your soul. Well, you will be doing nothing to me and nothing to my clerk. So whatever that motion was, that's denied. As to your other motion regarding all of that, um, quite frankly, it doesn't make any sense. We haven't even had the probable cause hearing. There will be a determination at the next stage as to whether or not there's probable cause regarding the charges. I was so, told this was a probable cause hearing. This is a probable cause hearing. So I don't understand what you're saying. I know you don't understand. Boom. Roasted. Not having a probable cause. Pardon? You said that no probable cause was had, but then you said that this is a probable cause hearing. You have not had your preliminary examination, at which there will be a determination as to whether or not there's probable cause to believe that the crime has been committed and you committed it. That is the next stage. That has not happened. So to the extent that your motion is even valid, which I do not believe that it is, and certainly you may raise it at a later date, but to the extent that it's valid, at least at this point, your motion is premature, and therefore your motion is denied. Anything else? Uh, well, lastly, I want to also put on the record, um, I wasn't able to uh, provide um, all my exhibits based on, as I told you, I was... You weren't able to do what? Provide my exhibits. To whom? To the to the court for to help um for my defense, the evidences. You haven't had a hearing yet. I, I comprehend it. I'm just saying that I usually have my documents precede me before any hearings take place. And I wasn't able to because I was under the weather. That was my point. You suck! Uh, dude, you're making yourself look like a complete moron at this point. I mean, uh, it might be best uh, for you to uh, uh, seek the advice of an attorney because they know how the court system works. They know all the steps, the processes, the what the hearings are, which hearings come first, all that other good stuff, because here's a little secret. They spent years and years in training to understand this stuff. Well, you, on the other hand, well, you've never even set foot in a courtroom until now, I suppose. I don't know. I've never seen you before, but I would suppose that uh, you don't know anything about it, right? Am I right? So... They will be here, uh, if not by the end of the day, in the drop-off box, and you'll have them all tomorrow. But um, you all will be served with the proper documents and the taxes, uh, as well, will be filed uh, on the case. Okay. Anything else? No, not this time. All right. So how would you like to proceed next on this? Uh, entering a plea of demur. Um, okay, you've already done that. I've already entered a plea of demur. I'm not sure when that took place other than right now. That took place on the arraignment on the complaint, sir. 
I never pleaded uh, demure. Uh, there you was stood a, mute. You stood demure. You don't even know what that means. You're just using words and have no concept no. as to what they mean. <laughs> Demure and mute are two separate things, but that's neither here. Nor no, there. they're not. You have no legal degree. They are not. They are not. I don't need to they are not. The, I'm not here they to are virtually the same thing. So where do you wish to proceed now? As I stated, uh, my motion. Do you wish this set for preliminary examination? Your motions have been denied. I wish for the prosecution to provide the evidence that any of this needs you to don't proceed. have discovery on this case is that what you're asking i'm not asking for discovery whatsoever so what are you asking for i stated that the prosecution needs to prove that a crime was committed and under um they also need to show and prove that there is an injured party for the crime to have even been committed as i've indicated you will have that hearing do you wish to have discovery? Discovery should be provided regardless. There's no wish about Do it. You wish to have discovery, discovery should be provided. Don't play word games with me. I'm not playing, Mr. With Allen. Discovery. Not play word games with me. You're playing with the wrong judge. You can smile and smirk all you want. I'm not trying. I'm to giving you your warning. A uh, soft heart. Uh, this chess game that you're trying to play with uh, Judge Simpson isn't going to work out for you. I mean, uh, just look behind you. He's got a couple pieces uh, ready to put you into checkmate. I will ask you again. Do you wish to have discovery provided to you? Yes. Do we have copies of discovery available that can be provided to this defendant? So, Your Honor, I, I know that the PD was representing uh, this individual. I don't have copies right now. Uh, I got you. Okay. So, man, sir, are there copies of the police report? as well as other discovery that's in the hands of the public defender's office. I do see traffic stops and discovery videos onto our program. All right. All right. Those need to be gotten to the defendant. How soon can those be gotten to the defendant? I can get those in hopefully by tomorrow or not. You have an address for him to send those to him? Yes, I do. I can confirm it with him too. All right. What is the, What do you have as the address? Do you have a um, an address on is it share? I do, yeah. One okay. Four, one, one. Okay, gotcha. All right, you'll make sure that that is sent to him. You also have an email address so that all things can be emailed to him also. I do, yeah. All right, very good. Sir, did you wish to then have another PCC or did you wish to proceed immediately to preliminary examination? Uh, I would like to first have a jurisdiction hearing. What kind of jurisdiction here? Personal and subject matter. Okay. Go ahead and raise it because I can deal with it right now. What's the personal jurisdiction? Uh, this court is long, uh, as well as the state lacks personal jurisdiction. I'm simply here under threatened arrest and coercion of you saying that you would help uh, put out a bench warrant for my arrest. Uh, dude, if you actually believed any of this nonsense, then uh, you would... Uh, not show up believing that they didn't have any jurisdiction over you at all. And of course, that would lead to an arrest warrant anyway. But since you are here, then there's some part of you that actually thinks that this soft hard nonsense is just that nonsense. Uh, the subject matter, uh, in regards to the name as well as the vessel uh, that was used, is uh, again under 
um, it was conveyed and in, in is uh, held and protected within the trust. Um, and according to Article 1, Section 10, and Clause 2 of the United States Constitution, um, there could be no legislative laws that uh, um, could intercede or to interrupt uh, the functioning of a contract, uh, which the trust is and is uh, properly um, uh, and the trust is uh, properly functioning at this time. So, um, uh, really, dude, uh, did you even bother to read the Constitution at all? Because uh, Article One, Section Ten, Clause Two does not say anything of that nature. In fact, it's more of a taxes, aka tariffs, in this case, upon imports and exports. You nitwit. With that, all right. So here's what we'll do because you're rambling again. So what we will do is you will put all of your jurisdictional arguments in writing because you're wrong. So we might as well get it in writing that you're wrong because I have subject matter jurisdiction over you and I have personal jurisdiction over you under the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the state of Michigan. So if you want to put your objections to jurisdiction in writing, you may do so, and then I will address those in due course. Awesome. So, dude, that would be the next step, and I can get those in today. And- no, that is not the next step. Either you're going to have another PCC. If you want me to set it for a hearing, I'll set it for a hearing. Yeah, for the jurisdiction. But I have nothing to set a hearing on. You have not filed anything regarding jurisdiction. Okay, so for right now, as of this moment, PCC is fine, and then I will file the proper documents for the jurisdictional hearing. Gotcha. So probable, I'll adjourn the probable cause conference in this case, April 25th, 2024, at 3 p.m. Is it possible to get another it's week for person for uh, to provide to? to accumulate my uh, documents for my defense. Is there what? Is it possible to have that extended out another week so that I can provide my... I'm going to set it 25th. I mean, I've heard, I was on the call. I've heard you give multiple counsels extended times. So where, what is the bias? I have no bias against you, sir. Well, I'm simply asking for uh, I'm a reasonable... setting the date. So about two weeks out, you can have your motion together, file your motion. I will be able to address your motion at that time so that we can get this headed to a PC, to a preliminary examination. Uh, just for on the record, I'll put it on the record that I object. But under threat, duress, and coercion, again. Your objection is noted. Right. And under threat, duress, and coercion, uh, I'll be here. Oh, yeah, soft heart. I'm sure you're going to be there because if you're not there, then the judge will issue a bench warrant for your sorry ass and they will bring you in. Then maybe you'll realize that this judge does have uh, jurisdiction over you, but I really doubt that because you really got nothing left up in there as far as the brain uh, department goes because well, I'm afraid that your brain waved bye bye to you. A long, long time ago. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?